Uh, actually, yes. Back to really brass tacks. Let's get down to brass tacks. I'm looking for Clarence Mostly. Mr. Mostly is indeed attending our event, although I am disappointed to discover he did not officially enter his canid Laplace into our competition. You should find Mr. Mostly just inside the prep room. Head inside Excellent, and take thank the door you. to your left. Don't tell me these people are breeding canids like luxury breeds. My word, this is a lot bigger on the inside. Oh, just hear me out. It's a brilliant idea. Is this about canid hunting? We've been over this before. It's a terrible idea. I mean, it's not terrible. Canid hunting is the natural evolution of canid shows. No one's going to miss a few backwater laborers anyway. Oh, wait, what? Oh, hang on, you mean hunting with canids, not hunting the canids? I mean, hunting's a little bit barbaric in general, but they are pests that need to be controlled. But, oh no, I don't think that's what she had in mind. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for somebody. Not now, please. I'm a little too busy, you know, being the master of ceremonies. Oh, you've got a fancy title. I'll leave you to it then. Uh, left. Prep room? Go oh, there's another more mechanical. Right, hello, I'm... You must be Clarence. You there, sauntering about in a Jolliger original. Yes, that's Do me. Do you know the interesting thing about canid shows? The interesting thing? Um... No, I don't, but I've got a feeling you're about to tell me anyway. You do seem like the sort of person who likes to give out unasked for information or advice. Good instincts. Uh. Mathematically speaking, the interesting thing about canid shows is this. They're an exercise in futility. Winning is predetermined. Over time, the inevitable trend is that the race goes to the swift. Time and chance are just statistical outliers. In other words, if you put enough canids through enough trials, the one with the most optimal attributes generally wins. Exercise in futility. But how do you determine who's got the most optimal attributes without putting them to a contest? I, I'm not really following. Why, why are you telling me this? Oh, I've been told I should try to socialize more. Sharing an interesting fact is a proven method of endearing oneself to a stranger. I'm an actuary, you see. Well, not entirely. The actuarial sciences are more of a passion than a profession. Uh -huh. So I suppose that makes me mostly an actuary. Oh, I see what you did there. That's a bit of a family joke. I'm Clarence Mostly. Yes, I, I gathered. The name sounds familiar, actually. Uh, mostly Fine Furniture Company, am I right? Yes, that's us. Mostly oak trees, too. My grandfather invented them, you know. Well, no, he didn't invent mostly oaks, but he did purchase the naming rights back during the terraforming days. It's essentially the same thing. I... I don't think it essentially is. Look, I've been looking for you. You're the last known staff member of Project Gorgon that I can find. Oh. <clears throat> then you're not here about my monograph. Your it's monograph? True. I was involved with Project Gorgon, but that chapter of my life is long since closed. Listen, I don't know what you want with Gorgon or with me, but let me give you some free advice, hmm? Let the past go. Live in the moment. Enjoy the party. Well, whatever I want with you, it's not your other eyeball, so don't you worry about that. The manufactory is on emergency lockdown. I'm going to need your help to lift it. But you are actually a little bit late. There's some mysterious figure already sent me cryptic warnings. I don't need cryptic warnings from you. Let me hazard a guess. You didn't listen then, and you're not about to listen now. Now you get it. And were you the one? No. No, surely it's not you? No. No. No, I think it would be somebody more important than you. Somebody who's probably still on Gorgon themselves in control of the facilities. And you only had clearance for that first building we entered. 
Yeah, it's not you. But yes, you're right on the money. Then I don't see the point in wasting a well-calculated argument on the virtues of self-preservation. Yeah, no, I, I don't really care for the virtues of self-preservation. Well, I do care for the virtues of self-preservation, but it's not going to deter me right now because it's just one of those risks that you accept as you accept the job. I need to lift the lockdown in the manufactory, and I'm hoping you can show me how. Lifting the lockdown won't be easy. You'll need to send overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. Yes. I don't have that level of clearance, but I know two people who do. The trouble is, I don't know you. I don't trust you. I washed my hands of Gorgon, and you're asking me to dirty them all over again. I'm going to need a good reason. My dashing good looks? I was hired to find a journal. Mm. How much of a conscience does this man have? He, he did turn his back on Gorgon and just put that chapter behind him. But given that how is he supposed to oppose a giant organization on his own? It's not that surprising. Look, something... Horrible has happened on Gorgon, and I'm simply trying to uncover the truth. I advise against trying to dig up what's been buried. Sooner or later, you're going to draw up something rotten. And you are aware of what's been buried? Me. Do something for me, and I'll do something for you. That way, we don't have to rely on mutual trust. What's wrong A with grand mutual trust? Prize trophy to the Canid Review. I want it in my hands. Get me that trophy, and I'll give you the remaining researchers. Names, locations, as much information as I have. Well, that does seem to be in my favor, all that information. What's so important about this trophy? My canid, Laplace, is statistically superior to every other canid in this review. Better average sprinting time, okay. superior gait coefficient, optimal anatomical symmetry. Then why didn't you I enter didn't it? I bother entering little Laplace in this pointless contest. He's already won on paper, you see. That trophy rightfully belongs to him. What? That might be the most Byzantium thing I've heard in a long time, actually. That's ridiculous. That's utterly ridiculous. If you think they've won already... And that they're gonna ace every single trial. Why didn't you enter it? Oh, you're much too kind. Does this mean you'll do it? No. No, I don't think I will. Um, I don't think I'm interested in doing that. Oh, do I really care? He's got information I need. Oh, fine, fine. I'll be back with the trophy. Head into the main hall and take the elevator down into the maintenance tunnels. You'll find a service passage that leads up into the trophy room. Okay. The maintenance tunnel is the only way up into the trophy room. Some technician barred the door shut on our end. Ask Tilda Coatsworth about it, over by the podium. Wait, hang, hang on. The maintenance tunnels under Byzantium are infested with sprats and the like. Before I go, is there anything else I can ask you before we go? What's on your mind? So, elephant in the room, I found this eye. My eye! I was wondering where I'd misplaced that old thing. It's perfectly preserved, you know. Wait. Every eye possesses unique dimensions, not unlike a fingerprint. The circumference, the shape, the color of the iris. An eye makes excellent proof of identification, assuming you don't mind removing one. So you actually purposely removed it. So, how, so you, you purposely removed your eye? I'd rather not get into the details. If Spacer's Choice ever asks you to test out their new model of monocle, just say no. Oh no. I, I don't, I don't even want to imagine how you do that. It's a monocle. How do you lose your eye to a monocle? Oh, no, no, not gonna think about it. Look here, just take it back. It's, consider this a gift from me to you. Well, that's rather responsible of you. I'll put a good word in your permanent record. Yeah, good luck trying to find a permanent record for me, mister. What's on your mind? 
Uh, what can you tell me about Project Gorgon? What were you aware of there? At the moment, nothing. I have a one-track mind. I can't stop uh. thinking about that trophy. Why isn't it in my hands? When is it going to be in my hands? And so on and so forth. You get me that best in show trophy, and it'll clear my mind right up. Yeah, I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Is there a way we can get the information without having to rely on Clarence? I don't see where he'd leave that information lying around. They are awfully tame for canids. At Tilda, is it? <gasps> my goodness! Is that a Jolliker original? It is. If you wanted to show off, you're a little late for the Canid review. Don't stand too close to the Canids. You don't want their bladder issues all over your suit. No, I, I don't want it all over me, let alone the suit. This suit, it really is actually paying off. I didn't realize I'd be able to get around Byzantium quite so easily wearing it. But are you wearing a Jolliker original? No, don't tell me what to do, you peasant. Fair enough, friend. Fair enough. I understand the rules of social engagement just as well as you. I don't really know what they are at all. That's a nice looking trophy you've got over there. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Why, thank you. It's custom made for our Canid review, which ended a few days ago. The Judiciary Committee is still deliberating over the winner. In eight to ten short weeks, we'll have the name of a winner. Probably. Eight to that ten? That gives us eight to ten weeks to file a maintenance request. Our technician barred the vault door and then disappeared without a trace. Can you believe that? I can, actually. Probably because he was sick and tired of being around all of you people. I mean, what was unbelievable? Whatever happened to competent help? Now you're speaking my language. The Musgrave Vault contracted a security consultant from UDL. They sent a technician to install a few security upgrades. Anti-dissident auto-mechanicals and the like. Uh. That technician barred the vault, but neglected to leave us with a way in from here. He wasn't seen leaving the security room, so I can't imagine where he's gone off to. It's probably those anti-dissident auto-mechanicals got him, I'm gonna say. Uh, isn't there another way into the trophy room, though? I understand there's a lot of maintenance tunnels below Byzantium. The tunnels are guarded by auto-mechanical security. I don't look nearly boorish enough to resemble a UDL guard, so they'd probably shoot me on sight. In any case, I'd rather not step foot in the tunnels. The tunnels are for disposing of unwanted refuse, and no place for a respectable Byzantine. I don't think maintenance tunnels are... For getting rid of refuse. I think maintenance tunnels are for maintenance. Uh, either way, I can find a way into the vault for you. You won't have to dirty your hands. I mean, I am in a Jolicure original. Your eagerness to serve your betters is commendable. Excuse you. Here's a key card. It should help you get around inside the tunnels. Now, was there anything else? I'd like to get back to mastering over the ceremonies, or people might question why I have this role at all. Deep breath. I'll be on my way. Yep, no, you... I was letting it go to my head, the fact that this suit was getting in, us into our places. When really... They're all just arrogant fools. Now, is there anyone else I can speak to? Oh, are they going to make me want to scream a little bit more? Right. Maintenance tunnels, maintenance tunnels. I know we can get to them from the outside, but can Ugh, we get to them from the inside? Basically sprats with an attitude. So these aren't just a common phase then. They they've been around for a little while. Oh, bypass chance of the music box. Yes, excuse me, I am your better. Uh trophy? Trophy? Oh! That is fancy. I wouldn't mind just keeping that myself. Right, so that's the bird door, right. Don't mind me. Let's have a nosy round here. Hello. To the maintenance tunnels. Oh. 
Right, this elevator's a lot quicker than that one up from the landing pad. Let's have a fix. Okay. Ooh. Stuff. I like stuff. Get all the bypass shunts, everyone. I won't tell. Yep. You better not. Right, there's one of the mechanicals. What is this room in the middle? Why are there empty podiums? Technician's key card. Right, we can get that way. It looks like it just loops around, though. Right. Yep, we found our technician. Right then. Oh! Felix! Felix, that was very bold of you. Go on, Ellie. So much for stealth. Oh, ow. Yep, let's have a bit of a fix. Oh no. Oh god, he's. Woo. Right. Plasma pistol doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, right, well, there's a technician. And another key card. Installation log. Completed. Scheduled annual sanitation repair Musgrave family vault. One. Applied kind and peen scented floor wax. Two. Appraised area in accordance with Byzantium Aesthetic Standard CHHC Board Aesthetic and Interior Regulation Section 33F. Three. Relocated garbage. Four. Installed anti dissident order mechanicals in order to ensure moral and civil hygiene. 4A. Note, tampering with, altering, or otherwise disabling moral hygiene or mechanicals is strictly prohibited under board regulations. 5. Delivered complimentary mint. Oh, that's where you had a nice little complimentary mint on you. And what is behind these broken down walls? Hunting rifle hyper. What is that? Oh, we've got a hunting rifle hyper. Right, it's just the same as what we have. And I am going to have another fix. There we go. Right. And... Before we run off, I do want to see what's in here. It seems like... Some kind of workroom, but is this the vault then? Let's try not to break anything. We are relatively good at breaking things. Oh, is this where they were going to house things that got lost in transit? Where does this lead? Does that go up to the security station where the trophy is? Must do. How'd you do that so fast? That's beyond cruel. Oh! Here. What? These dead canids show signs of domestic and ex domestication and extensive grooming. Oh, they've been butchered. What's... Are these the ones that don't make the cut or is this people eliminating the competition? Oh, not even canids deserve that. I know they're pests and violent and dangerous and not at all suitable for domestication, but they do not deserve that. Right. I saw rifle marks. Oh, we'll take it. We can dismantle or sell it. Right, this should take us up then. Hopefully we weren't that far down. Right. I do see that red glowing light. Do you think when I grab it, it might set off an alarm? Let's undo that barred door. There's some more bit cartridges. We'll have those. Safe. Most dangerous game. 
brings a whole different meaning to the phrase firing a subordinate. Oh, right, 150. Is that actually achievable for us? Because we need to change our attire. Our stealth skills plus 5, but this gives us plus 10. Lock picking. Okay, deep breath. Oh, we can't. That's that's not too far off, though, being able to open the most difficult of locks. We're 14 points off when we equip our gear and ingest things through our inhaler. That kind of me can come out. That shouldn't be in there. Let's get rid of that as well so we don't use it up before we need it. And let's change our gear back over. Right. Don't set off an alarm, please. Wow, that trophy's real Ooh. bulk. Oh, I figured there'd be chocolate inside. I don't have any words. I mean, it's not a bag of chocolate coins, Felix. Something that fancy in a place like this, behind a locked door like that, is always going to be solid gold. But, Come now, to be honest, Anubis, given how eccentric these Byzantians are. I actually wouldn't be surprised, Felix. You might be onto something. So who's calling their... their canid Anubis? Hello? Is that a Jolliker? <laughs> Great. I'm going to embarrass myself in front of my betters. Yes, you might be I about to. I don't suppose you've any formal training in canid husbandry. I really am at my wit's end. It's my little Anubis, you see. He's listless and miserable. I simply don't know what to do about his condition. Oh, uh, well, uh, you named your canid Anubis. Why Anubis? Oh, naturally. All our canids are named after the legends of the old pharaohs. Family tradition, you see. You must understand, Anubis is a very picky eater. He dines exclusively on Terra Tu Saltuna, none of that rubbish from Monarch. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of a shortage lately. He's so miserable without his salt tuna. Do I have any old salt tuna on me? I mean... Canids need affection too. Maybe you should be a little nicer to Anubis. Give him something a bit better than salt tuna. You know? He's probably tired of it all. Give him a proper treat. Yes, I suppose you're right. I doubt all this excitement is doing any favours to his digestive system. I suppose I have been spoiling him with Saltuna. He could use a change of palate. Oh, I do have some limited edition Rizzo's CCN 76 chocolate bars. Oh, hang on a minute. Are they poisonous for canids? I think you might be out of your mind there. No, no, no. Let's, let's play it safe. I don't know if canids... Oh, canids, canines. Yeah, it's good enough for me. Yeah, let's not give them chocolate. It's probably bad for them. Really? I had no idea. I suppose I'll just treat him to some Spectrum Violet then. Spectrum Violet? You've been a world of help. I'll leave a good word on your permanent record. Um... Thank you? Why am I getting reputation with the board? Uh, do I have a permanent record? I don't want this going on my permanent record. Good Kanan. Oh, he likes you, boss. Can we keep him? No, we, we can't. I don't think Milburn would be a... Very happy man if we took Anubis with us. And I don't think we've got room on the ship for a Canaan called Anubis. I'd be a little worried what Sam would do to poor little Anubis. So, right. Come on then. File in. Get in here. I shut this door. Let's not let everyone know that we've pinched their trophy. Uh, Clarence, mostly. Jolliker's outfits have been linked to a 12% increase in mild to moderate neck injuries. As a result of so many heads turning. Oh, careful you don't hurt yourself then. Today's your lucky day, Clarence. But before that, let's talk about the dead canids in the service tunnels. What would you know about the dead canids in the service tunnels? Dead canids in the service tunnels? Domesticated canids? Yes. Why, that's utterly revolting. Well, you're telling me that you had... Nothing to do with it. 
Uh, would you? I mean, you do have an awfully high opinion of your own, what, La Palace? La Place? I can't remember what you called it now. My dear friend, I would not dream of hurting a canid. You'd pay people to Every do it for you? Regardless of their physical attributes, is a companion to their master. To kill a companion is a profound and unforgivable breach of trust. I'm glad I chose not to participate in this loathsome canid review. I will, however, take their trophy. I mean, it surely isn't that participation still. You do seem rather horrified about it, so I am going to choose to trust you. It is your lucky day. I do have the trophy on me. My trophy? Look at this thing. Have you ever seen a more garish monument to the boredom of the elite? No. If only Grandfather Mostly were alive today, I would have loved to wave this trophy right in front of his cataracts. I hope you won't take it personally when I say I had my doubts about you. Nothing ever gets done in Byzantium, you see. I know. Competent work is, well, a statistical anomaly. I have been called an anomaly before. Right, come on then. Names, locations, Clarence, I don't have all day. I've wasted enough time on this. Lifting the emergency lockdown requires overrides from the chem lab and human inquiry. Yes. Access to those facilities requires authorizations from two senior level researchers. Marion Blakesley, Jasper Lowe. They went into hiding after the project collapsed, but I've managed to calculate their last known whereabouts within a reasonable margin of error. Ca Wait, last known whereabouts, yet you calculated it. How do you calculate a known location? You mean you just follow... Uh, how, how... You use statistical analysis to figure out their locations. Like, show me how that works. I don't understand. I see you're familiar with my technique. I'd love to show you my numbers, but there aren't nearly enough napkins in this room. Mm. After the project shut down, I had to keep my mind occupied. I worked on my actuarial tables, calculated the average lifespan of a spacer's choice worker, that sort of thing. I'd be curious about that last I one. I realized some of the researchers had to be alive. I ran some numbers, did a little research, and concluded that the two most likely survivors are Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe. Right. You haven't been able to let go of Project Gorgon either. They seem to consume everyone it touched. Nonsense. I just needed a good old-fashioned statistical problem to busy my mind. So keep it off Project keep Gorgon. faculties lubricated. You talk about leaving the past behind, but... It seems like you feel responsible, somehow. Let me stop you there. I don't accept anything for free. And if you're going to analyze me, I'd have to go through the trouble of hiring you on contract. Think what you will of my intentions. My calculations are sound. You'll find Marion Blakesley and Jasper Lowe at the enclosed locations. So, these two researchers, they're the only ones left. As far as you're aware, as far as you believe, as far as you've calculated. As far as I know, Jasper Lowe and Marion Blakesley are the only two surviving researchers with high-level clearance. High-level clearance, got it. If you want it. to lift the lockdown on the manufactory, you'll need to send an override from the chem lab and human inquiry. I'm afraid it's the only way. Right. I... Wait, two different lockdowns... Or two different overrides a lot... Two different overrides to lift one lockdown. Oh, nothing's ever simple, is it? But I, I do have questions about these researchers. I'll tell you what I can. So, tell me about Marion Blakesley, first of all. What did she used to do? She, Jasper was chem lab, was he? So Marion must be human inquiry. Dr. Marion Blakesley supervised the human inquiry and auditing facility. Live subjects, measuring tape and syringes, that sort of thing. Someone sabotaged the facility. Blakesley tended her resignation and vanished. I'm reasonably certain she's hiding in a maintenance bay on Groundbreaker. Really? Oh, I shot up the maintenance. If I'm 
thinking of the right place. I think I went through there and I shot the place up. I might have accidentally shot Blakesley. Uh, you're sure it was sabotage? Well, with Spacer's choice equipment, who even knows? Dr. Yeah, Blakesley well said. tendered her resignation lawfully, but under suspicious circumstances. If you want to know more, you'd best ask her yourself. Okay. And this Jasper Lowe guy, I mean, he's got no reason to lie to me. I, like, he's the only lead I've got, and if he, they don't lead anywhere, I can always come back for him. This Jasper Lowe, Lowe guy, tell me about him. Dr. Lowe described himself as a dazzling genius in his review. I disagreed. Of the 19 criteria that constitute the rubric of genius, Dr. Lowe only met... 15. Your personal rubric. After the project shut down, corporate traded him off to anti Clio in exchange for five lab coats. He's been transferred to an orbital lab around Olympus. You kept awfully close tabs on them, it seems. You, they must have been some fancy lab coats, though, if they exchanged, you know, him as a scientist for five of them. No, Captain. Lab coats, as in scientists. No, I, I know, I'm winding him up. Always this dense. How are you all still alive? I don't actually know. I live for risk. Thank you for your vote Let's of confidence. Get back on topic. You'll find Dr. Lowe in an orbital lab around Olympus. Well, thank you for your vote of confidence, Ellie. Uh, before I go, there is one more thing, maybe. Orbital lab around Olympus, right, got that. Certainly. What's on your mind? Actually, no, I think that's, that is everything I need to know. Excuse me. Right, well, let's get the hell out of here. We've done more than enough. Oh, wait. Uh, Tilda? I've got a lot on my mind right now. Our trophy's gone missing, but I can't file an investigation because what we're doing here is technically illegal. Ooh, I did find dead Kane down in the tunnel. Have, what do you know about that? Surely you know something if you're the master of ceremonies. Oh, don't look so cross. Those canids were put down mercifully. With a machete? Not every canid is suited to the intense competition of our review. Some few canids display flaws that cannot be redeemed. A limp. Wall eye. Poor coloration. Flaws? Poor coloration? Then don't enter them. I absolutely hate, I loathe everything about this place. It's just dreadful. It's absolutely dreadful. Why would anybody want to live? Because oh, everything else is so awful by comparison. But here is awful. Out, out, outside Byzantium, the conditions are awful. Within Byzantium, the people are more awful than the, the condition. Ugh, it's just, I hate this place. Are you getting emotional over some canids? You know, we have a bartender just downstairs. Help yourself. Anyway, listen. Nature is red in tooth and claw, and so are we. Competition is practically a law of the universe. I shouldn't have to explain this to you. There's competition, then there's killing innocent creatures. Yeah, just give me a minute. I've got the strangest urge to load my gun. Go and attend to your business, then. Arguing with you is a waste of time. Yeah, you need a waste of time. Just... No, I'm not going to make a scene. It is very tempting to uh, fire a couple of shots in the air on my way out, though. Right. So, Orbit of Olympus, Groundbreakers, Maintenance Bay. Hopefully, I've not shut either of those locations up before. <laughs>